Okay, so we're out. Quick, who's a volunteer? Hey, has anyone got like anger? Has anyone been angry a few too many times? Or perhaps felt guilt a few too many times? Thank you very much, John. Hey, John, can you remember the last time you were angry? Yeah, sure. Great. When was that? One of them. <laughs> Sorry? I can tell you one like... Two hours ago? Two hours ago. Right. So that's like 2021 March, hey? So hours ago, really. Yep. No need to share the context, but could you guys imagine John if he was angry? I wouldn't want to be there. Hey, John, can you remember another time before that when you were angry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, be sure. John, how many times in your life have you been angry? Depend on the anger level, not a lot. <laughs> okay, so we probably got a whole line going back, maybe multiple events a year. I'm going to have to go this way because there's not enough room. And now, sometimes when you're angry, it's bigger. And sometimes when you're angry, it's just a little bit, and sometimes a little bit, but... We got all these times angry. Hey, John, how do you know what to do when you're angry? Well, now I do. Before, I didn't know what to do. Like, I am aware now that if I feed my anger, then it will amplify. Okay, I'd, like for, I'd like for everyone to consider this for a second. How do you know what to do when you're angry? I don't. When I'm angry, I don't do anything. Now, some people where I'm from, they'll feel sad and they'll go reach for a beer, get alcohol. When? Now, Thorson, I hear you say. When do you think you learned to handle emotions with alcohol? I know the legal drinking age for you, but when, did you, when do you think you learned that? Me or John, John, when do you think you learn how to behave angrily? 2019? Ah, behave okay. angrily? No, I don't know. Just, just come. Excellent, John. Thank you. Just pause there for a second. John Thorson, when did you learn to handle... When do you think you might have learned it? Because we're, we're both men, and we often have learned to handle challenging emotions with, with a beer or alcohol. And I bend it too. Uh, when do you think you might have learned that, Thorson? Maybe 10 years ago? Yeah. Well, I could challenge you with that. How did your dad handle it? Huh? How did your dad handle it when you were a kid? Um, no, also, I, I didn't see him. Take alcohol, something like this. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, don't be surprised, especially if it's mm -hmm. Australian, don't be surprised if the person said, well, when I was young, I, and we don't always say this, this is often unconscious. We often see our parents doing it. As men, we often see our dads getting angry and really they might, they should be getting sad or some other emotion, but they show anger because it's better to show anger. So, uh, as a young boy growing up, I learned that if I stomp around, it's a lot better than me crying and being called a crybaby. So if I had a, a sad event, I might get angry because it's often better for boys to get angry than be called a crybaby. So, John, uh, can you remember the first time, the very, very first time? You might have 
experienced anger? I remember one of them. Right. Good one, buddy. Can you remember how old you were, roughly? First one, no, but that, that time I remember when I was like almost lose control, I was 16, 17 ish. Right. Excellent, buddy. Excellent. John, would it be cool if we do a little something for this emotion? Might sure make it. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. So, I hear what you're saying, 17, and dude, I did some crazy angry shit when I was 17 too. <sighs> now let's just relax a bit more and drift back, drift back earlier and earlier and perhaps feel when's the time before that or when's the very first time you had that emotion? Mm. Yeah, I remember. You remember? I got my. I remember I got my wristwatch stolen. Okay, how old were you then? Like fourteen. Fourteen, excellent. Right. Can you remember a time before that? I remember vaguely, I remember a couple when I got my eyeglasses. They're probably going to be vague. They're yeah. probably going to be vague, but they're going to be earlier than that. Yeah, they are. Let's go back to the first one. First, first one before the 14? Yeah. Oof. And perhaps it might help if you close your eyes and maybe feel your way down the timeline or look down the timeline or feel your way down the timeline. Relax, let's go back, let's find the first time. Younger, 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 younger. Younger. The first time you felt angry. I can go younger than seven. Excellent, John. You're doing great. Now, I'd like for you to see that event from a distance. See that young man, young boy in that memory. What does that young boy need to know? What does that young boy, what, what's a positive lesson or the learning that young boy needs to take in order for him to Release all the negative emotion around this, but keep the learnings to protect himself. Perhaps in a better way. That's it. You're doing great. What does that young boy 
need to learn in order for him to protect himself, but let go of all the negative emotions in that event. Just tell it's okay. Do something else. Excellent. You want to tell him that? Yeah, I just did. Excellent. Well done. What happened? Well, he just told me, like, I wish I knew that earlier. Part of the event will change, but it's fine. While you're there, is there anything else you want to tell him? Oh, a lot of things. <laughs> Maybe you can like energetically give him some wisdom or tell him many things. Yep, we're good. Okay, now I'd like for you to just, would you like to just double check for a moment and just maybe just casually just stroll in and see it from his eyes and experience the difference now. Just briefly experience what's different now. And then pull back out and you're really going to enjoy this. Let's drift on out. Notice how the memory is different. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Drift. drift on up a little bit and you may notice perhaps the, the color of the timeline here may change. Maybe this memory becomes lighter or brighter. Fading. Excellent. And now as you float up as much as you're comfortable, notice how the timeline back to the present starts to change. And slowly as you're comfortable, drift back towards the present at a height that you're comfortable with, noticing the change as you go along the timeline. You're doing excellent, buddy. Notice the changes below you. That's right. Now notice how those changes can even go out into the future. <laughs> yeah, looking out, let's go into the future a little bit. Maybe some things are uncertain out here, but you know they're going to be different. Add in perhaps some color or some more energy after your future timeline. Now, would you like to do a little future pace, John? Uh, why not? See yourself dropping down and into a possible event in future where you might have normally or in the olden days got angry, but instead it's just completely different. And you can go through different events in future with a different response. More resourceful. Carrying this forward through future events more resourceful now. And drifting up and floating up and up and notice how your whole timeline in front of you becomes so bright. 
And whenever you're ready, you can drift back to the present in your timeline. And whenever you're happy, you can come in your own time, bringing the learnings down to now. <laughs> That's nice. It was a nice journey. Thank you. Okay, so that's the benefits as well on having a really safe space, safe, supported space. And it's not easy to do that for yourself. But when you're in a safe space with coach, coaches, good on you, John. That was freaking awesome. Bless your unconscious, man. Thank it you. Was, it was really awesome. And I went back there and uh, I got, it's like I was happy. And at the same time, I was sad because if I don't have this anger, I had anger issues. A lot of things would be different. And that's make the little me sad, but that's making the present me it's like tougher. If I didn't have this anger, I won't be tough. But the future me totally deal with things differently, like because he's aware. So he doesn't need to be angry. He can handle things differently in a very peaceful way. And I anchored myself. I realized I'm anchoring myself when I remember when I am angry. So I'm because one of my anger issues was punching a wall. So I got my, my hand broken. So I'm touching the bone whenever I feel I'm angry. So it's like, it's another anchor. Bravo. I really well done, buddy. Well done, John. So, so now we, we, we could work on his anger issues in 2021 in March, in March, but he already learned this behavior many, many years ago. We could have worked on it when he was 14, but... Mm, he actually learned this much earlier. Anger, sadness, grief, they're generally uh, up until about seven. So if the memory is after seven, not so much. But see, if we actually remember the very first time we got angry, we behaved a certain way. So I've got an older sister. My, my sister took my toy. I behaved a certain way. The next time it happened, I already knew how to behave. And over the time, it just got automatic. So I developed an, we develop an automatic response. Whenever our sister takes our toy, we do this. And then someone else takes our toy, and we behave in a similar way. And maybe we lose a toy, and we behave in a similar way. So we end up with a pile of different things and we, we, we keep acting a similar way. We call it anger. So we go back to the root cause or the first time and we, we go back to the first time and we change this or we update our first time. We update the first time and we basically change, 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 change. We just did all those memories at the same time. 